Okay, so this is the Switch Max battery. It's larger of the two batteries at the time I purchased this. And uh, on the front here, it's got a rubber protective coating, sort of like a cell phone case. And inside is a harder, another smaller case. And it's got Samsung 50E 21700 cells, which are pretty good quality and very reliable and safe, in my opinion. And on the back on bottom end here, you can see the welding of the nickel strip, really well done. It's got lots of uh, waterproofing and it's built really well. So there's nothing to really to be worried about in terms of quality. Uh, on the top side is where the BMS is and the wires. And uh, this, you can see the connector here, it's a proprietary connector for a uh, switch. So um, that's what the internals look like. So after looking at this a bit further, I think you can tear this down a bit more. On second thought, I don't think it's worth it to open the other side. You know, I'm just going to leave it like this. I might not be able to put it back because of the, this connector here. Looks like it's glued there. That one piece. That is one piece. Yeah, I'm just going to leave it. Okay, so this is the second part in the dismantling of the Switch Max battery. But I'm sort of doing it in reverse just because I don't want to have to do this. Um, I had removed it off camera here before just to experiment how much effort it would take. And it's not much. So this is the rubber cover. You can see this is where the port is. This is where the button is, the bottom mount here. So it's just a rubber cover, kind of like a cell phone case, right? So this provides it with a little bit of water sealing as well as the water sealing that's built into the case already around the edges and stuff, plus the four screws or sorry, the eight screws that, that sort of weld it together. So this, this battery is pretty uh, waterproof, though I, I don't know, think the switch kit is waterproof. So just, just know that it could handle uh, this battery can handle a bit of, of rain. So when you're taking it off, it is basically like a phone case. So you just got to slot it in in one way and then just sort of fit it in as best you can. So this might, you might need some tire, le <laughs> tire levers. You might need some levers. Uh, to expand, I'll push this in, but it shouldn't be as hard as say a, a bike it should be fairly straightforward. Yeah. If you use a pry bar, you can stretch the rubber around. There you go. And then just wrap it around here until it fits nicely like a cell phone case. Press down on all the edges. Make sure everything's flat. So if you're to remove it, it's the other way around. You, you find something to pry underneath here and then lift up the rubber portion and then just go around like a cell phone case. Then just make sure the button works. Yep. Okay, so this is the first part in the Switch battery, Switch Max battery disassembly. But I'm just doing it in reverse. So this is the first step. First step is to uh, remove this cover here, which is covered in sticky tape all throughout. So when you're removing this, use a pry bar or screw flathead screwdriver and just do it carefully around one of the edges and go all the way around and peel it up, lift it up slowly. Try not to damage the, the surface area here from underneath. And try not to bend anything. I mean, it won't hurt if you just had it like this, but it looks much nicer with this plastic cover on it. So just clean off the surface. Make sure nothing is on the back of the sticky area. And then just line it as best you can. Line it with the edges here. Start on one end. And then sort of go down 
And then, oh, I'm a little bit off. How could I be off? Oh boy, okay, that's fine. I can remove it again, but I guess you'll see it. You go like this, and then just remove it slowly. I'm off by a little bit though. Tell me perfectionist, but I want to have this sort of perfect on the way back because I won't be disassembling this. By the time this thing breaks or if it, if it does break, well, I obviously don't have a warranty anymore with this one, but uh, I'll be buying another max battery or the smaller one. All right, let's try that again. So it's still pretty straight. I think it's better if you align it from the top in the corners, then you aim it down. I think that's my mistake. So, okay, there, it's all aligned, flush, flush, flush. Yep, yeah, there you go. That's how you do it. Look at that, just like brand new.